Uh, heading up to Mount Hemlock. I'm gonna do an overnighter on Mount Claude. It's a beautiful sunny day. Lots of blue sky, except where we're going. What the hell is this? It's totally sucked in. Typical. Just heading up the surf, uh, service road. Oh, skitter trail. I think biggest hazards today is going to be uh, snow bombs. Got uh, it's warming up a lot. Going to get pounded by a couple of snow bombs later, I think, in the forest. Monica doesn't like carrying her skis through a bunch of dense brush and post holding waist deep. That's part of skiing, isn't it? <laughs> Might be a little bit better up here. Just kind of wandering the ridge approach. This is uh, part of the ridge leading to Mount Cloud. Claude, whatever you call it. Looks like there's a drop a little bit. We'll keep a little bit more left. It's a little bit steep on this side. Oh, sorry, keep it a bit more right. See if you can get some better views right now. That's not much. So we're just stuck on the north side of the ridge. We can't get to the south. It's just too thick. Just some snowshoe tracks in front of us. But this is tough on skis and overnight packs. But maybe we can cut across a little bit higher somehow. Okay, a bit of an update here. It's uh, six o'clock. Yay, it's pitch black dark. We didn't get as far as we wanted on the ridge. In fact, we're kind of stuck mid ridge somewhere. So it was pretty treed and steep and lots of blow down and brush and uh, really it wasn't going anywhere. So at three o'clock, we decided to call it a day and throw down camp. Uh, we got some views from the East Harrison side at least, but uh, it's not really where we wanted it up to be. But it'll have to do. It's pretty, uh, pretty cold, minus 12. Mm -hmm. Slight breeze coming off Harrison right now. Got uh, lots of stars. I really doubt the video camera's going to pick any of that up. But that's where they are. Right there. Lots. And what are you doing? Turn your light on. Oh, there's Monica. Drinking Southern Comfort. It's cold and we have no fire. There's no dead trees here. Yeah, actually, it would be pretty hard to even make a fire. It's not really any decent wood. So we've got this massive tea light going. It's great. It's just like the real thing. Yeah, except no heat. <laughs> oh well. We made ourselves a little bench, 
Gonna have some food, I guess. Just chill out. I mean, chill out at minus 12. Ah, it's 9.30. We made it this far, at least. It's pretty frosty, as you can tell. Bit of a breeze. The tent's moving just a bit. It's not bad. Minus 12, minus 13. Everything's pretty frosty. I'm just in the vestibule. Monica's pushing on me. Yeah. She's trying to go to sleep. Sorry. Uh-huh. Setting up for sleep. It's just frosty jacket. Oh, that's, that's my... Uh, a pillow. Bit of a frosty night. About minus 12, minus 15, plus the wind. Probably closer to minus 20. We're almost out of fuel, but we got coffee and cereal going. Sun's gonna be a little while. I think it's still minus 10. And uh, the wind's still uh, a little bit. It's not too bad. A bit chilly. That's it. We're all packed up. A lot of work for a single night, but hey, we've got to train a little bit for the upcoming trips. So we're going to take this way down. It's an old road. Um, might be a bit older infested, but I don't think it'll be any worse than the way we came up, which was from this uh, west side ridge. That wasn't really that good. Let's hope for the best. It's a half a kilometer down to the original road we took up. Through what kind of terrain? We'll soon find out. So we found an easy way through. This is what we were looking for yesterday. Just to get through these friggin' thick trees. And here is the shallow part of the ridge we wanted to get on. All that for nothing yesterday. It's right here. So uh, skiing at its finest. Some alder choked uh, road. That's what it looks like. It's uh, perfect conditions. There you go. Just keep that line. Use that uh, cut little alder as your next brace. And keep your skis not from crossing. Perfect. That's how it's done. Hey Ted, what do you think? <laughs> this one's for you, Ted. Ted, where's my snowshoes? There. Nothing to it. That's how you, that's how you cross a older infested ditch. What do you think? 